So time now to bring in the 2017 Big Ten Coach of the Year, Michigan's Kim barnes Rico joining us. And KBA, you have taken Michigan to places it's never been before this year. What's the biggest reason for your success? Well, I think I've been fortunate to have great players in our program and players that believed in the vision, believed that they could come to Michigan and make a difference, as well as a tremendous staff. I, I think one of the the greatest things we have this year is great chemistry, and our staff has stayed together for a number of years, and it's really made it, made a tremendous difference. Um, they work incredibly hard. They spend a, a lot of time with our players, really working on player development, and an enormous amount of hours working on getting our team to where we are today. So it's the players in our program and our staff. You're in year number five, and when you took this job, every coach, right, has a vision of where they want to take this program. How close are you now to that vision when you were hired? Yeah, I think we're right there. I mean, that was that was the dream. And, and when our seniors came in as freshmen, that was their vision um, to be a top 25 team, um, to finish third in our league with some tremendous uh, talented teams in our league. Um, and then to make a run in the NCAA tournament, because once you get there, anything can happen. Um, I, I remember as a young coach, my, my first time in the, in the NCAA tournament as a coach, and, and Gino happened to be playing at the same place, and he said, well, you know, the easy thing is to get there. The hard thing is to stay there. So, I, you know, I giggled at the time thinking like, well, golly, we're here. Um, that's a tremendous feat for our program. But I understand now the consistency of being there year in and year out. And I think that's our next goal moving forward. Um, we're thrilled to be here, but we have such great players in our program, such competitive players in our program that they want to they want to be there year in and year out. You brought up being a young coach and I love your journey because it's a grassroots journey and you literally have coached at every single le level, including starting your coaching career at the high school level at, at a couple of high schools in the state of New Jersey. What was Kim Barnes Rico like as a coach back then? <laughs> Uh, Lisa, great question. Um, I think the same. If you ask those young kids, they would probably say not. Um, I, I was fiery. I was passionate. I think one of the things is I, I love what I do and I love to bring that energy every day. My goal as a coach is to try to inspire people and to try to get my players to believe that they can do more than they think they can do. And everyone would ask me when I went from high school to Division Three to Division Two um, to St. John's, you know, what is the biggest difference? And for me, it was always the players are the players and 18 to 22 year olds are 18 to 22 year olds. The speed of the game, the strength of the game, Obviously, that changes, but your ability as a coach to inspire them and impact their life is really um, kind of the same. So, you know, I've, I feel fortunate. I've taken a, a different journey than most people. And um, as, as a young coach in the state of New Jersey, you know, I, I got to watch Vivian um, back in the day, coach, and I, and I got to watch Muffet, and I got to watch Gino, and, and I never thought that I would have the opportunity to coach a, alongside of them and um, Dawn Staley with USA Basketball. I mean, those are coaches that always inspired me, and, and I never thought that I would be at the University of Michigan again and uh coach of the year that's a it's a dream come true yeah and it's a great example that you don't just find success like that you have to work and build at several levels to get to that success now as good as a year it has been I know you didn't close the season the way you wanted and part of coaching is to hit the reset button so what's your biggest message here for this team going into the postseason well, I think yesterday was really a difficult loss for us. Um, I don't know if you had a chance to watch it, but it was a heartbreaker for sure. Our, our team was devastated in the locker room after the game, as were the coaches. And I, I think, you know, you never want to lose a game, but sometimes losing kind of gets you to reset and gets you to work a little bit harder. And we just need to get better at a couple more things. And, and I think yesterday's game will really put a fire, fire in our belly. And I, uh, our team is motivated for this week, wants to get back at practice, wants to get to the Big Ten tournament, feels like we really have some things to prove. So yesterday was devastating, but I think it's going to give us great great motivation moving forward. And now you are the coach of the year, but in my opinion, you're also the best conditioned coach in the conference. <laughs> Be honest, what was, what's the workout like today? 
Today was a killer, Lisa. If if I, you know, after a, a bad game like yesterday, there's not much sleep, and the first thing I have to do before I start the day is kind of get on that treadmill. And today was an extra long one, and and I really tried to push myself. I I think um, you know one of the things that is important to me is if I'm going to expect my team to give 100% every day. I want to give 100% every day. And whether that's planning our practice, whether that's being that voice at practice, or whether that's making sure that I am working out and doing what I need to do to set a great example for our players, um, that's, that's what I have to do. I think it's just a great release, too. So I ran a, I ran a few extra miles for you this morning, Lisa, for sure. I was going to say, Kim barnes Rico, the only coach in the country that gets 15,000 steps before 8 a.m. <laughs> every day. <laughs> Uh, close. Being a mom helps that too. I run around in the morning before they all get to school. So I'm up and down the stairs quite a few times as well. Your 2017 Big Ten Coach of the Year, Kim barnes Rico. thank you for the time. Thank you, Lisa, and thank you for the coaches in, in our conference for voting this honor for our program as well.